turning now to busking because the capital is, of course, famous for its live street performances. It's how the likes of Ed Sheeran started out. But artists are warning that their livelihoods and the tradition itself are under threat if Westminster Council goes ahead with plans for a licensing scheme. The council says it has thousands of complaints about noise and overcrowding. Wendy Hurrell is in Covent Garden. Wendy, what's the atmosphere like there this evening? Well, they're having fun here. I've been here for most of the day. It's a mostly British crowd. It's a bit more sparse than we'd expect, of course. Uh, but they have been very enthusiastic and supportive of the street performers and the jugglers, singlers and unicyclists make their living performing here. They are uh, self-regulated by various associations, but the council wants to put stricter rules down. And that, the street performers say, is a threat to their livelihood. That cheapest and happiest of affairs, the Buskers Show. Cheeky and unlawful preservers of Britain's most carefree tradition. A Busker. tradition 400 years old in Covent Garden, London's home of international street theatre. It's my impression of a snowman. Aye. And still happening today, in pandemic times, some of the only live performance we get to see. Also, if you clap, if you clap, it kills the virus. But the community here says it's under threat due to Westminster City Council proposals to reduce pitches to 25 across the borough and require performers to apply for a license. They want to make it illegal to perform anywhere in the borough of Westminster apart from a handful of spots. And they, they want to have 20 minutes of every hour where there's no shows. And that's going to mean all the performers are forced into those those few spots. And it's just going to be impossible for any of us to make a living. So it's taking longer than usual, ladies and gentlemen. Lockdown wait. Well, the street scene in general is going to kill it. Um, myself in particular, my show will be banned pretty much. Um, they've decided that along with the license, they're going to ban so-called dangerous props. So no bed of nails, no bull whips no like, jug like juggling knives. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. Like I said, personally, that'll kill my act. I won't be able to do it anymore. And um, that'll be my income down the toilet. Westminster City Council insists it is not banning busking. In a statement, it said, we deal with around 1,800 complaints a year from residents and businesses over excessive noise and overcrowding caused by street entertainment. We are making these proposals for specific pitches in an effort to strike the right balance so that people can continue to enjoy performances on our streets. Both the council and entertainers want to know our views. We have until Sunday when the public consultation ends with any changes coming in next year. Wendy Hurrell, BBC London. And another performer who kicked off his career busking in Covent Garden is comedian, actor and writer Eddie Izzard, who joins me now. Thank you for talking to us this evening. Tell us what busking means to you then. Well, it's street performing, I would call it, because busking is, of course, when the... Well, you may not know this, but when a musician plays and has a travelling audience, and street performing is the performance that we do. That, that where I learned my craft, I was creatively born basically on the streets of Covent Garden. That's why I first learned to do good performing, and I now play, you know, Hollywood Bowl, Madison Square Garden because of what I learned there. And that's not an exaggeration. It's an amazing thing you could learn there. It's amazing skills, amazing entertainment. And I think they did a survey. Guardian Royal Exchange used to own uh, the whole of Covent Garden. They did a survey. It said 90% of people like to watch the uh the the street performers or they enjoy the street performers there's a huge support there i mean th th these numbers that westminster council are bounding around don't compare to the millions or thousands if not millions of people who are coming and enjoying what, what we do and people this criminalizing street performing and that's what they're going to do if they're going to it's going to cut it down to only six pitches are going to be with with uh, amplification and all these other pitches are just only for standing statutes because they're without amplification so it just really cuts it down and it and it it's going to criminalise street performing and all that creativity. And you, you said a lot of people love it. Indeed, they do. Westminster Council says it has um, received um, almost 2,000 complaints a year about noise and overcrowding. If not licensing, then, how do, you, how do they tackle it? How do they manage that? Well, it, 
they've already got they've already got license that because they've got rules for if people are being excessive with their noise then they've already got rules to, to take care of that so this is these are extra rules they're bringing on top of it and as you as you saw the gentleman just said before bed of nails you know why is that dangerous why you know if somebody's juggling knife they're going to be juggling in the area the, the the audience is standing back this is something we've done for 400 years this is a british tradition and people are going, you know, Westminster Council is going against the great creative British tradition. And London is one of the capitals of the world, the great creative capitals of the world. And we're just going to run roughshod over that and at a time of COVID. Remember, this is a time of COVID. They're sort of bringing this in right at the time when street performers are really struggling and all performers are struggling. And just briefly, what, what are your fears for the future in this in this time? Well, they could just stamp it right out. This could just cut it right down to almost nothing, where very few people can perform. Um, you know, if the weather is bad, then you can't perform. COVID conditions are making it bad. And then you've got these new draconian uh, uh, rules coming in, which is, is criminalizing performing. The idea that an actual creative performer becomes a criminal because it gets a criminal record because they're performing, even if it's enjoyable, but someone says, no, that I disagree with that. I think that's too loud. Or I think the bed of nails is going to affect me in my, I don't know, how's that going to affect anyone? Eddie, so it's I, just I, we could talk so much further about this, but we must leave it there. Thank you very much for your time this evening. Thank you.